Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. I'm delighted to be joined with Zane with his fantastic movie, Monera. Uh, Zane, it's great to have you here. We're live from Lebanon to Los Angeles right now. Good to have you here. Oh, I'm in New York, actually. <laughs> He's in New York. He's lying. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, so the film obviously took place in, in, in Lebanon, which is yes. uh, wonderfully based. Uh, so we're not keeping you up too late, Zane. So that's really, really good. For those that haven't seen your film, let's take a look at a clip. مثل ما اتفقنا Um, Zane, I, I feel much better now. There's me thinking it was too late for you, and I forget you're in New York City. So that's that's a really that's good. I feel happier now. Um, Zane, your film was 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 brilliant. Um, I, I was I was just mesmerized by this story from the get go. It was it was it was fantastic. But for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Sure. Uh, so, um, Manara is a um, short Lebanese film about a family dealing with uh, a tragedy. A mother and her two children, uh, adult children, dealing with a tragedy after the disappearance or death um, of um, the patriarch under mysterious circumstances. And we explore how uh, that particular tragedy changes the dynamics between, between those family members when the matriarch is um, insisting on covering up the, um, the cause of death to avoid embarrassment or scandal because she's worried about um, how she might be perceived in the eyes of the immediate society and community. So. I think this is a really a story that's kind of and a, and a you know a, a, a worrisome part of a story that's not often articulated as much as it should be and a lot of families I feel may go through this and and what I love about your characters is they're all in their own way articulating their pain, you know, their, their pain from this experience. And it was it was very moving and very hard. And I, I just wanted to get in there and give everybody a hug. You know, it, it really was, you know, wonderful to watch. It was painful to watch too. Uh, where did this story, where, where, did this, where did the inspiration for the story come for you? Uh, so I, I worked with uh, Pascal Signori, who is my writer and co-star of the film. She is a beautiful partner in crime. We, we work together a lot. We get along. And we wanted to, you know, we wanted to tell a story about a family and a secret. We wanted to uh, s experiment with some sort of cover up. And, you know, it, the story took so many different forms before we um, anchored this kind of abstract secret that they're all dealing with. And... Um, so yeah, it came from our personal experiences with with uh, this culture that is very much obsessed with appearances. You know, we we grew up in um, in very conservative towns and small towns in Lebanon, and we dealt with you know we dealt with with this issue, and a lot of people my age dealt with, which was obsession with appearances amongst the older generation who prioritizes how people perceive them at the expense of the well-being of the family and healthy dynamics within the family. So, it, you know, this collective shared experiences between Pascal and I really sort of brought together this movie. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, again, I, 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 you know, I also kind of grew up in a sort of small little town in conservative area and I can relate to just how people just talk and that kind of worry of just, you know, there's a protection of your own family that you want, you know what I mean? Like, and, and especially when, as you know, the dynamic has changed in this particular family and, and, and how it will move forward. Um, I just want to say, like, I mean, it took me a while to recognize you were acting in it because you were so different, like your whole persona. And of course, you're going for a lot in your character. But I thought you put in a fantastic performance as well as directing. Um, obviously, one of your, uh, you know, uh, uh, co colleagues that you work with was, was co-starring in the film as well. Um, how did you go about bringing the character, bringing this this cast together, including yourself? Um, and, and as a director, how do you work with your actors in this way, particularly when the stakes are high? Sure. So um, I was really passionate about playing Rami. I really understood him, and I really wanted to play his struggle and 
it, you know, it was it was a challenge because it wasn't easy kind of directing this film and being in it as well. It's such a heavy subject matter and there's a lot of difficult scenes and this is very low budget film and it's a struggle as it is. But I really wanted to play him. So, you know, hopefully we, we made that work. And, uh, you know, Pascal, who plays Nora in the film, uh, we're both actors, you know, uh, we're both actors as well, Arab actors in this industry, trying to, you know, uh, find heavy layered, complex characters to play. And, and we just, we like to create characters for ourselves as well in the projects that we do. Um, and um, Hala, who is um, the female protagonist in the film, film who plays Alia, uh, she's actually my aunt in real life. And oh. uh, yeah, so um, right. I, it wasn't this kind of random impulsive casting choice. She looked very much like the character, I, I, you know, that I envisioned for Alia. And, uh, um, and I work very well with people I know very well. You know, I'm familiar with their lives, with their pain. And, um, and so I was, able to, I was able to get a lot from her because I knew her very well and it was familiar and, fam uh, and familial. So um, the, the sort of the cast came about from from, from those decisions really and instinct, you know, I kind of, I went with my gut. So when it came to casting Hela as, uh, as Ali as well, so. And you, you ever worked with your aunt in this capacity before? <laughs> when, we, <laughs> when we were kids, we were like, you know, we we're all theatrical and she's very theatrical as well. She, you know, I think in a different life, she would have chosen this career path, but um, yeah. um, you know, she's very playful and she's very theatrical. And, and we, you know, as, as a kid, we, you know, we would, in, in, in the past, we would do a lot of different sketches and stuff. So I thought, you know what, why don't you just, you like this, you like this, you like this thing called acting. So why don't we just do it, you know, do something and, um, and you know, and, and see what you can do. So, yeah. She's brilliant. She was brilliant. I mean, I was just, I'm just glad, I'm glad you kept it in the family too. Cause it was, it was, that along. yeah, please do. I was like, how many movies have you done? She seemed like she'd done so many. So, um, well, you know, I, I, I really, I really thought your, all of your characters, you know, had their own kind of pain and situation going on. I think it really came across really well. And even though, you know, the, 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 the mother was, you know, she appeared to be this very, you know, kind of cold, you know, harsh kind of reality on her kids. You know, you could feel her pain in her own way too. I felt like everyone was going through something different, you know, um, I'm just so curious, like, you know, how, how do you, how do you go about as a director, you know, like, how do you play? Do you kind of like, is there improvisation to kind of create that energy or, or are you quite hands on? Do you tell people kind of how to approach certain things? What's your style as a director? Sure. Uh, so we, because, you know, um, Hala was new uh, to, to this field and this was such a delicate subject matter and it was such a difficult film to make. I wanted to, shoot the first scene first I, I wanted to start in that way to just and it was an intimate conversation piece and so I made sure that it was just the three of us in the room and only essential crew and I asked a, lo a lot of people to leave the room and just so that everybody can can relax into it and just um find the words and find the rhythm and the dynamic and then it sort of it went on from there mm -hmm. and um and um it was, I think, the most difficult difficult scene to direct was the confrontation scene in in, in the in the in the bedroom, um, and that was very difficult because um, you know we were shooting <laughs> we were shooting at this hotel and we weren't really allowed access into the room and so we couldn't really do any sort of block blocking rehearsal or any any type of rehearsal so we just had to do this guerrilla style uh, you know um, production in that in that scene. Uh, so it was it was difficult being in it and directing it as well. But I really I just wanted everybody to feel comfortable and um, and you know and, and just it's it's very it was a very difficult film to make. But I, I did try my very best to make everybody feel comfortable uh, yeah. during the process. I mean, I was gonna. I mean, you said obviously film part of it in a hotel, but I I, I love the the set the setting that you set for us. Like it was so beautiful how it started with the water and, and finished with the water as well. And this whole kind of atmosphere that you created for us was, it just felt very delicate. Tell us a bit more about how do you find that location? Cause it looks so beautiful where, where it was shot as well. Yeah, um, so th that location is a, is a resort called Al-Fanar in Southern Lebanon in a, uh, in a city called Tyr. 
which is my mother's hometown. And um, it's just, just a beautiful location in itself. Need no production design whatsoever. And uh, the owner, Walid, uh, was very generous in letting us, you know, shoot, uh, shoot in, in that hotel. And so, you know, I, I it, it just kind of go in and just the, the, the film writes itself, you know, and I really was adamant on shooting something um, by, by the lighthouse in that hotel which is very aesthetic in itself. So yeah, so thank you, uh, Walid, for letting me uh, access that location. One of the things that I you know, love so much about your style is I just love your kind of intricate details that were just meant so much, like the whole, the whole thing with the nuts, um, you know, was just, just, just kind of moving because, you know, but also just the delicacy that you had with each of the close-ups and, and how you visualize that. Like, it just felt very delicate. Like we were in a circumstance that was kind of uncomfortable. Was that kind of something you wanted to create from a sort of visual perspective? Cause I really felt like everything was just kind of big and, you know, but even just the tiniest details, just, just, they, they, I felt something. Absolutely. Again, you know, I want to do, uh, do a big shout out to my writer Pascal uh, as well, because without her, this film would not have happened. And my cat, my, cast and crew as well, uh, who I love very dearly. And also without them, the film would not have happened. But yes, I care very much about detail. I, you know, and I care about cultural specificity as well. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I, I just, uh, there's a lot of things that we do in Lebanon and there, we're so specific about how we go about doing them that, you know, whether it's making the coffee or what we put in the, what we put in our coffee or how we make our dishes and, and what we, what is the funeral culture like and what is prioritized, what is not prioritized. And I really, I really wanted to um, highlight all of those details in, mm -hmm. in, in that process. And I really, you know, I wanted to sort of package this film as a sort of murder mystery type mm -hmm. thriller. I really wanted to experiment with, um, with with making it also in addition to being a drama as a genre film as well. And I, because that that's where I I like to, that's where my style tends to sort of anchor itself, and that's what I tend to like to watch and, and do. So I, I I you know I hope I done, did that successfully. <laughs> so. I mean, you did, and I, you know I love that you mentioned about you know I mean I, in my experience of receiving you know Lebanese food and coffee from Lebanese people, it's made with love. You know what I mean? Like everything is is like an art form. The way you prepare food, the coffee's so good. It's um, it's incredible, and I and I love that that was kind of like you know, I felt that in the film as well, you know, and so it's difficult when you're making it under these circumstances because uh, this, obviously this family dynamic has changed. And I think one of the things that I loved is that, uh, that you kind of showcased in your film is that with this person missing in the film, there's, everyone's got kind of this new role to play that they're not prepared for, you know, um, in the family. And and I think you articulated that well. And, and, and I'm glad that obviously uh, the, the reference to, you know, kind of, making sure that fits in with how it fits in with Lebanese culture. But I also think the universal loss of losing someone, nobody kind of prepares you for that moment when you may lose someone special. There's no manual to that. You just have to deal with it. Um, was that something that you kind of like wanted to kind of raise that as a point in this story? Cause I just felt that anyone that suffered through loss, you know, it's just, what do we do? You know, it's, it's a hard thing to go through. Absolutely. Um, it's, it's one of the most difficult things, you know, I can't even imagine to lose someone you, you love very dearly. And, um, and yeah, I, I wanted to, you know, how the film is structured is really every single character in their own separate world before they sort of merge in their own ways of how they're coping with that grief. Mm -hmm. And every single person deals with grief differently. Some people um, choose to deny and deal with it later some people choose to deal with it in the moment and some people are refuse to process it and mm -hmm. it, it's it's a very delicate subject matter of how you know um people deal, deal with this particular issue but when it you know when you said uh you said the world word universal and i think that's that's what we try to do when we present foreign films is we might do a film in a foreign language and that's culturally specific but everybody deals with the same issues you know whether it's grief or loss or um kitchen table issues and everyday issues that we deal with and and you know when when i screened the film that's been the reaction of a lot of people it's like you 
people in that part of the world don't look different than us and don't deal with different situations or problems than we do. And that's, in addition to telling the specific story, that's what we all as Arab storytellers and uh, storytellers from different diverse and ethnic backgrounds try to do is challenge stereotypes and, and present stories from different parts of the world as universal stories. So. But at the same time, you did want you did make you want to go to Lebanon like in a heartbeat because it just you know it just just captivated uh, just this beautiful part of the country and it was just so good and it was you know it, it was just lovely to see um, you know um, that on the on the on the screen and see this beautiful part of the world um, that everyone should visit one day. Um, I, I you know again myself and yourself come into a, a different country and, and 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 being part of this sort of American film. Uh, culture, um, how special it is though to have this particular film in this particular program. And we love having your film at New Film at LA and it could have fitted in in any one of our monthly film festivals, but it was extra special that it was part in partnership with the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and an in focus, um, you know, on the Middle East, on Lebanon. Like how special is it being part of this particular program when the Academy was specifically looking for amazing films and talent from that part of the world? Incredibly special and you know it's even more special because this is the first time I get to actually share the film with my friends in the US because this is our US premiere and I'm very very happy that New Filmmakers uh, was the New Filmmakers LA was the platform for me to do so and you know incredible partners like the Academy and the Air Film Institute and it's just uh, it's just been great you know this whole week has been truly truly wonderful um, the industry sessions and, and everything that we did was was just really incredibly valuable so yeah thank you to you as well for for everything and uh, you know to new filmmakers as well well we can't do it Zane, without you making movies so you have to keep making more for us please so um uh, it brings me on to say what is next for you uh, well i'm currently working on my series a series project right now it's currently you know i'm, I'm writing it and i hope to I think that that's my next project. I was sort of oscillating between a feature film and a series project, and I'm I'm developing both and writing both. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see where. You know, it's been very difficult during this. This has been an interesting year. You know, so um, you'd think having so much free time is sort of conducive to creating. Yeah. It's not really, you know, not the most inspiring time to create, but I'm, I'm, you know, doing my best to try to be productive on that front and cope. And yeah. so, um, yeah, but uh, working on a series project called Arrangements, um, and uh, that is supposed to take place here in the U.S. So, um, it's sort of a Lebanese American project. So we'll see where that where that goes. Excellent. Well, Zane, I'm 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 so glad you brought your film to us, and what a great way uh, to finish off. Uh, you know, a very interesting year that we won't forget. But at least we can celebrate your successes with your film. And you know, I'm so excited you're part of our filmmaking family, and just keep making more movies for us. But thank you for bringing Manara because it was just a a joy to watch. And I think you know, there's just so much in there that I. And, and I was just curious, is there room to, ex there was like, I felt like there could be a feature there. Was there any kind of, is that like, um, reason or with those? I've, I've gotten a lot of, I've gotten a lot of that. People really, it's a good thing that people want more. I know it's just, it's, it's difficult to tell a complete story in a short film mm -hmm. format, but I, you know, I think with this film, I think it's a standalone film in itself. I mean, we, it, I, I, you know, I wanted to see more as well when I was when I was making it, but I think at some point you just have to say this is a standalone film. You have to move on. But I'll definitely be talking about these themes more mm -hmm. and more in the future. And the structure of the film itself is something that I really want to build on. You know, I really there's something about that sort of three character structure and this kind of vacant home and yeah. I really, it, it, it resonates very, very much with me. So I'd like to keep experimenting with genre, uh, with genre filmmaking and um, these themes. So we'll see. Well, it's definitely a compliment when we, you know, you, we've resonated with the characters and the story and then we, we want more. So that's always a good sign. So, so well done you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much, Dane, uh, for your film and uh, keep making more movies for us, please. Thank you, Danny. Appreciate it.